And thanks for joining us tonight. Charlotte is off. State lawmakers met in person and online again today, the second time since the pandemic started. This time they talked about a different piece of the coronavirus economic recovery. Amy Reed live at the Capitol to show us that conversation. Amy. From the beginning, the chair of the committee that held this meeting said that if you're here to bash the governor, you're in the wrong place. But people there couldn't help but be critical, not of the governor, but of his plan to reopen the state's economy. If you want zero risk, then you'll have uh, zero economic activity. It's not an easy time to run a business. You can take it from the people trying to do so and trying to share their story with legislators. The extension of the safer at home order with no certainty or conditions for reopening. Um, our economy is complete, completely devastating to somebody in my position. Listening to their stories is what this group of lawmakers is here to do. Getting perspectives of businesses who are as busy as ever. Tim Metcalf, the president and co-owner of Metcalf Markets. And those watching sales dive. If you impact this business much longer than end of May, uh, we're not going to be here for the 1,400 people that are impacted by the business. As they discuss the dueling crises of public health and the economy, they also talked dueling plans, one designed by the state's largest business lobby, the other by the governor. One allows each business to be evaluated for health risk on its own. The other, by the Evers administration, takes the state as a whole. Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation CEO Missy Hughes described it like a relay. Critical teamwork is required to assure a smooth transition from one runner to, a to the next. As public health passes the baton to economic recovery, w WEDC is taking steps now to facilitate this smooth transition. But lawmakers questioned how smooth it's going and how people's livelihoods should be weighted against lives. Hughes said she wasn't qualified to talk public health, but repeatedly encouraged finding the things we all want. For all the uh, controversy that we tend to make for ourselves and the conversations, there are places where we agree. And I think if we can help focus and help each other focus on those places of agreement, we will get farther in this whole process faster and quicker. This meeting was scheduled as an informational hearing, but there's a hint that a bill could be coming from what was discussed today in a response filing in the state Supreme Court. Lawyers for the legislature pointed to this meeting, saying they're moving forward with legislation, though it suspects Evers will veto any bill so long as he can continue to run the state's response single-handedly and indefinitely. Amy Reed, just outside the state capitol tonight. Amy, thank you.